Well, hello, hello. If you're out there and you can see me, let me know. Give me a little bitmoji, a hand wave. Let me know where you're watching from. If you don't know who I am, my name is Mitchell Osborne. I am a tarot card reader, psychic medium. I do um, animal communication, pet psychic work, and I'm also a mindfulness transformation coach, and that's what we're doing tonight, some mindfulness. So some mindfulness, I hope you're out there. Um, like I said, let me know where you're watching from if you'd like. You don't have to, but if you wanna let me know, that's great. And um, we are just gonna kinda do a little check-in, see how everything's going. Gonna do just a little lesson, hey Barrett, do a little lesson i've been working through this um book mindfulness um, 99 ways to live a mindful life we're on number seven so we've got 92 to go i don't know how long it'll last but i'm going to keep going till it don't go anymore so hope you're doing well um, if you're watching in the archive which is where most people watch uh the mindfulness stuff then thanks for watching if you make it all the way to the end, we're gonna do a mindfulness session, a meditation very soon, probably in about 10 minutes, we'll dive into that. So hang tight, get yourself situated, and uh, maybe about another minute, I will get started um, with a little bit more of the lesson and what we're gonna do. See if we get any more people showing up. If not, I will barrel ahead, because like I said, we always do save it in the archive. I'm looking on my website, on my Facebook page, um, to potentially post this and share this. So, da, da, da. all right. So, hope you are doing well. How's your week been going? Let me know if you've done any mindfulness of your own and uh, if you've had any you know, luck with any of the practices that we've done, um, push through any of it. And then we'll dive into the lesson here very shortly if I don't get any posts from anybody. So we are in the middle of Mercury retrograde. I was at a uh, Starbucks today. One of the ones I go to has open seating inside, limited, but it's there. The Wi-Fi I cannot connect to. I had to go through my phone. So if you're experiencing some Mercury retrograde stuff, that's what's going on right now. Um, started on November 14th through excuse me, October 14th through November 3rd, so it's gonna go right up to election day, which is gonna be a little bit intense. So it definitely will be a little bit intense for what all is going on right here in the world. So I wanna go ahead and dive into the lesson. Like I said, this is mindfulness, um, actually mindful is the great website, mindful.com, and then the magazine is mindful as well, but this is like getting started with mindfulness, and there's 99 ways. Last week we did, or two weeks ago, we did set small achievable goals. And then today we're going to work on keeping track of the good stuff. And basically what this boils down to is the brain is wired to detect all the negative stuff that goes in in our lives a whole lot easier than the positive stuff. So it kind of forces us to focus on what we haven't done and lose sight of all the good, cool stuff that we have done. But focusing on the good stuff is exactly what we need to do in order to commit it to long-term memory. So we're gonna do that in our mindfulness session. We're gonna take some time and focus on the good stuff that we've been doing or that we have done or that we will do. We'll even do a progressive kind of a focus. So we're gonna try taking stock of the things that we've accomplished in our day-to-day -day world. And every time we cross something off our list, we're gonna just see that as a little victory and as something positive. Um, and it just builds up our own personal faith in ourselves. So keeping track of the good stuff is what we're gonna focus on tonight in our mindfulness meditation. And um, let me just tell you some of the other ones we've been through. Setting uh, small achievable goals was number six. Number five was invite your fears in for tea. It was a really good one. Number four, um, oh, I didn't write that down. So hold on, let me look in the magazine. Number, number four was do something you're good at. Uh, number three was build a confidence team. Number two was stand tall. And number one was check in before you go. So all of those can be found on my YouTube channel. Um, it's a playlist for mindfulness stuff. So let's go ahead and dive into our meditation. We won't belabor this anymore. And uh, so find yourself in the most comfortable position that you can. I am going to put up the mindfulness little platform meditation so that you don't feel like I'm staring at you through the camera. 
So as you find yourself in the most comfortable and relaxing position that you can, as we move through this mindful meditation, I want you to just adjust your body as you need. If you need to scratch your ear, if you need to move your body, your legs, your feet, your hands, whatever, just honor your body. And as you bring awareness to your body, just start to take notice of your breath. And all I mean by that is just notice each inhalation and each exhalation. <sighs> Follow the breath in and out of the body. And by doing this, you really are in a mindful moment, paying attention to your breath, to your body. And then as any thoughts, feelings, emotions, or sensations may come up, simply acknowledging them without any criticizing or judgment, and then just come right back to the breath and the body. And that is mindfulness in a nutshell. So now I want you to play with some words for just a moment. Every time you inhale, I want you to think or repeat in your mind the word relax. So every time you take a nice deep breath in, let the breath be natural and normal. Just think or repeat in your mind the word relax. And then just let the breath gently move out of the body. Following the breath in, thinking the word relax, and then allowing the breath out. And if your mind wanders off, first of all, it is absolutely okay. Just bring your awareness back to your breath and your body with as much love, kindness, and compassion that you can the moment you realize your, your thoughts went somewhere else. And that is another real simple, basic form and practice of mindfulness. When your mind wanders off, just simply bring your awareness back to your breath, back to the body. Now, every time you exhale, every time the breath leaves the body, I want you to think or repeat in your mind the words release and let go. So when the breath comes into the body, think the word relax. And as the breath leaves your body, just think or repeat in your mind the words release and let go. And as you think the word relax, it's almost as if you're giving your entire body permission to do just that. Relax. And as you repeat in your mind or think the words release and let go, just imagine you're releasing any tension in your body, releasing any discomfort that you can, and letting go of anything that's not serving you right here, right now, for your highest good, for your greatest growth. So following the breath in, think the word relax. Letting the breath leave the body, think the words, repeat in your mind the words, release and let go. And over the next three or four or five breaths, I want you to allow those words just to start to fade away to where you're just left with the breath after three or five breaths. Those words fade away just like fog in the morning sunlight to where you're just left with the breath. And if your mind wanders off, it's okay. Just bring your awareness back to your breath, back to the body. Now I want you to think of one or two or three things that you've done lately, that you've accomplished. And this can be something as simple as you wrote down on a list this morning to clean your house and you did it. This could be something as powerful as two weeks ago you graduated from college. I want you to just think of one, two, or three things, whether it's simple and small or something grandiose and large. And I want you to just sit with those things that you've achieved. Perhaps, perhaps you have them written down on a table in front of you in your mind's eye and your imagination. Perhaps you can see the, the fruit of the labor Perhaps you see yourself crossing a finish line and how good it felt to run and practice all those months and weeks and then finally cross the finish line in your first 5, 10K, half marathon, whatever it is, Iron Man, Iron Woman. Just see yourself checking off those things and enjoying how good it feels that you were able to accomplish those goals 
accomplish those things you set your mind to. Perhaps you play out through your mind what it took to get you to that checking it off the list, crossing the finish line, achieving the goal, whatever it is. Perhaps you play that out. Perhaps you run it forward and then run it backwards, forward and backwards, solidifying that in your mind, solidifying how good it feels to accomplish these goals, to achieve these things you've set out to achieve. And just sit with that feeling. Perhaps it brings a smile to your face. Perhaps it warms your heart. Just sit with the energy of that. And now I want you to think about some things that you've got coming up in a day, a week, a month, by the end of the year or the next year. I want you to imagine yourself writing these things down on a piece of paper, maybe tattooing them on your arm, perhaps writing them on the window or bathroom mirror of your house. All of this, just imagine you're writing the goals down, you're setting the goal, the thing that you want to achieve. And then I want you to just progressively envision yourself doing that thing achieving that goal, checking it off your list. If you run into any obstacles, you can back up just a little bit, take a deep breath, and then move forward again through it to the best of your ability. See yourself achieving the goals, crossing the finish line, saving the money, completing the course, whatever it is. Just progressively see yourself doing that and how good it feels. Allow yourself to sit with that feeling of accomplishment, of achievement. Perhaps you can feel others cheering you on, clapping you. Perhaps you feel a personal pride well up inside your chest that you did this. And as you sit with that feeling of accomplishment and achievement, just know it's just a step away and another step away and another step towards accomplishing that. You've done things like this before and you'll do things like this again. So now start to bring some awareness back to your breath. As you bring the awareness back to your breath, allow those accomplishments that you're going to do to be sitting out there waiting for you. Allow those accomplishments that you've already done, that you relished in and you reveled in. Just sit with them another moment. Let them become part of who you are, an achiever, one who accomplishes the things they set out to. Now just memorize how good it feels to be right here, right now, having achieved these goals, feeling good about the goals and the achievements you're going to accomplish in the future. And just like we started a few minutes ago, with each inhalation, I want you to just think the word relax. With each exhalation, think release and let go. And just solidify how good it feels to be right here, right now with these breaths. When your mind wanders off, it's okay. Just acknowledge and come back. Come back to your breath. And just once again, allow those words to fade away like steam into the air to where you're just left, just left with the breath following it in, following it out, feeling good, having achieved these goals, and start to take some fuller, deeper breaths in, fill your lungs full, fill your belly, fill your chest full, and allow the air to exhale. 
The next time you exhale, I want you to wiggle your toes just a little bit. Next time you exhale, wiggle your fingers a little bit. Next time you exhale, rotate your wrists, maybe point, maybe flex your ankles. Now the next time you take a deep breath in, lift your shoulders up and back. And as you exhale, set your shoulders down, sitting up a little bit taller. And whenever you're ready, just gently allow your eyes to open, coming back fully present, fully present and aware back into this moment right here, right now. Ah, hope you made it back all right. Hope you were able to see the achievements you've already done and feel them. Hopefully you were able to progress into some of the achievements that you're going to do in the future and sit with those as well. Beautiful, beautiful exercises you can practice on your own, a progression of achievement of goals. I'm just double checking. Um, see if anybody. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So thanks for hanging out with me. If you have any questions or comments, Hi, Norm. Glad you were here. I don't know if Francine texted you or messaged you or not, but she was going to try to come, but she wasn't sure if she was going to come. But I'm glad you made it. And as always, thanks for sharing this on your pages as you feel led. Thanks for going back and re-watching. And if you head over to YouTube, like I said, you can find all of these under one playlist, um, the Mindfulness, Med Mindfulness Meditation with Mitchell Lives. So, all right. Any other final questions before I sign off? It'll be a short one tonight. If not, it's all right. But thanks for hanging out with me. This was a little bit of mindful meditation with Mitchell. Next Sunday night, we will be doing... Um, uh, the animal communication one on Sunday night. And then I'm going to take a little bit of a break on Sunday nights through the holidays. Um, and we'll see how that goes. Going to kind of reevaluate, reassess, and see where I go from there. Um, so uh, who knows? Maybe it'll happen before the end of the year. Um, but uh, I'll definitely be around. Definitely be doing this. I'm just going to take a little bit of a break. So next Sunday night, which is November 1st, day after Halloween, Day of the Dead, um, we'll do the animal communications and then take a little bit of a break, get it at least through like Thanksgiving. So, all right, everybody, namaste, stay safe, stay safe and healthy. And until we chat again, bye-bye.